Hello, this is Kira uh, from Dublin City Libraries. I hope you're all well, staying safe uh, and keeping your spirits up. I'm sure many of you are finding that reading um, and listening to books could be a great distraction and comfort at a time like this where there's so much uncertainty um, and just a constant influx of news. So I wanted to run through with you how to use Barabox because um, a lot of questions have been coming in. What you're looking at now is an Instagram post um, that went up on the 11th of March that has a simple step-by-step -step slide through if you'd rather something like that instead of this video. Um, so that's there if you just scroll down a little bit on our Instagram feed. Um, but this is going to be about 10 minutes long, uh, a little video, a uh, step-by-step walkthrough how to download and use Barrowbox. So Barrowbox um, is open to every public library service in the country, not just Dublin City. So do feel free to share this video with your friends and family in Ireland who might also find it useful. Since the libraries closed last week, there has been huge demand on Barrowbox uh, for its e-books and e-audiobooks. Um, and as such, Libraries Ireland are working with Barrowbox to get more copies of all the books in. Um, so though it might look like there's long wait times on some of the books, those wait times should decrease over um, the next few days and weeks uh, as it's updated. So the first thing we need to do, step one, is download the Barrowbox app. So I'm going to go out of Instagram and to the Play Store. If you have um, an Apple phone, it'll be the App Store. So when you go into the Play Store, you've got to search for Barrowbox. I already had done that, so here it is. And we're just looking for that little green icon, Barrowbox Library. You install it, it takes about a minute. I've already installed it, um, so it's to save time. Um, so I'm going to open it. Now, so this is the um, sign-in screen that you'll get when you open the Barrowbox app. So first things first, you need to select your library. So you just put in the first three letters of your library service and it will autofill the rest. So D-U-B, Dublin City Council, that's me. Then you need to put in your library card membership number. That's what it's asking for there when it says ID barcode. You'll find this on the back of your library card uh, above um, the kind of barcode. Um, if you are a member of Dublin City Libraries, it begins with the letter D and the number one. If you have signed up online, you likely have a, sh a shorter number if you've signed up in the last few days. Um, and so that should work as well. So I'm gonna put in my barcode number now. Um, so D1, uh, it doesn't matter if it's caps lock or not, so don't worry about that, 590002. Okay, the next step is my pin. You will have set this pin um, when you first joined the library. Uh, if you've signed up online recently, uh, you might have uh, done it there or you might have done it in branch a few weeks ago or a year ago. Um, so what I would suggest you do if you don't know what your pin is, is go to the Libraries Ireland website and they have um, a ticketing system there where you can pop in an email request and they will email you back with a solution uh, to your pin. So um, you're going to see what my pin is, but it, this is only a dummy account, so it's fine. So the, uh, the good old Irish uh, password 1916, sign in, uh, agree to the terms and conditions and the privacy policy, uh, agree. And if this is your first time using the app and ever logging into Barrowbox, you'll be asked to put in an email address as well. But I've already done that, so that's why it's not appearing here. Uh, beside my loans, at the top of the screen, there's my reading list. So you can make a, bit, a wish list there of uh, books that you'd like to read and keep, keep a, a list there and refer to it when you come back into the app. And then that is essentially it for your little profile screen there. 
Uh, so I would like to listen to an e audiobook. I am going to go to the bottom of the screen and you see there where it says e audiobook. So I'm going to click on that. And here are the books that Barrowbox have featured um, on this homepage. There's hundreds of books. These just happen to be the ones that they're advertising. So you can scroll across here within the categories. You can scroll down to see um, the different featured books. If you want to do a bit more um, of a tailored search, look to the top of the screen and there's kind of filters you can use there. So I want an adult book and I want to have a look at, let's see, bestsellers. So I'm going to click on bestsellers and here's a list of them. So you can see here um, there's a mix of fiction and non-fiction. You can narrow your search further if you just want fiction or you want just non-fiction. You can also search uh, by categories. See here like Irish authors, featured, bestsellers, by genre, American fiction, antiques architecture, Australian fiction, autobiography, and so on. And they're done um, in alphabetical order. Or you can go to all releases. So this is all the books. Um, so there's no order, no genre. You're just seeing a, a mix of books. So um, I really have no preference at the moment as to what I want to listen to. So I'm just going to look at all releases. Um, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you will see a little tick box available only. I'm going to tick that because that means I will only see what is available at the moment. So available only. So I'm going to scroll down and see if anything jumps out at me. Not sure what matters at the birth of Bowie. So you can see there's business books, there's fiction, there's self-help books, there's history books. Absolutely loads of different ones. Oh yes, I've wanted to read this. How to give up plastic. Lovely. So I'm going to click on that there. And this gives me a blurb uh, of the book, a little description. It tells me how long it runs for. It's not a particularly long book, it's just under four hours. It suggests more e audiobooks that I might like, but I can see that those are all on loan. So I'm happy to go with this one so I can listen to it now. Before I borrow it, I want to listen to a little preview of it. So I'm just turning my volume up so you can hear. So if I go to the bottom of the screen and press preview. Introduction. Can I grab you quickly? Take a look at this. Grant Oaks, our biosecurity officer on board the Arctic Sunrise. That's probably a bit quiet for you because um, I'm wearing headphones, but uh, hopefully you, you got a sense of it there. Um, now we are going to borrow it because I'm happy. Sounds good. So borrow. Confirm loan. After confirming this loan, you will have four loans available. As I said, you're only allowed five loans at a time. So that's grant. Confirm. Loan successful. Keep browsing or download and listen now. Well, I want to listen to it now. So I'm going to download now. It gives me the option to download the complete e-audiobook, which is 50 megabytes, or press the uh, three lines and the dots in the top right hand corner to download individual tracks. So let me just show you what that looks like. So it breaks it down into chapters. Um, if I was worried about, you know, running low on space on my device, I might just do one chapter at a time, download one chapter at a time. Um, or I can download the complete e-audiobook, uh, which is useful if you know you're going to be going somewhere that uh, doesn't have Wi-Fi or you don't want to use up all your Wi-Fi um, or your data. So you can have it downloaded and then it's just on your phone. So I'm going to do that. Um, then this brings up the play screen and this is a um, very straightforward play screen. You can rewind by 30 seconds, fast forward by 30 seconds, play, uh, return track, skip forward track. You can adjust the speed at which it's read. 
Um, and a good feature is the sleep feature, which you might see there in the bottom left, excuse me, bottom right hand corner. Um, if you like to listen to a book to help you go asleep, you click on that and it gives you options as to what uh, time you would like to elapse before the book stops playing. So if you do fall asleep, you don't have to worry that your book is going to keep playing and you'll lose your spot. So just pick however long it takes you to fall asleep, 10, 15, 20 minutes, um, and it will automatically stop playing at that point, which is really cool. Um, so that is our book. Um, so if I were to start pressing um, play, it will play for me. It's going to be quiet for you guys again because I'm wearing headphones to record this. So let's just see. Penguin presents How to Give Up Plastic, a guide to changing the world one plastic bottle at a time by Will McCallum. Okay, that was probably very quiet, but I hope you got the idea. Okay, so um, that's my book. I can... Um, keep that uh, in my loans and listen to it whenever I like. So remember the tab that runs along the bottom of the screen has your loans, e-audiobooks, e-books and search. So I'm going to go back to my loans and there it is. So the next time um, I log into BorrowBox it'll pop up there. That's where it'll be because I have it out on loan and my loan lasts for 20 days. I can renew it if there's no one else in the queue to borrow it. If I finish it early I can return it. Uh, if I want to reserve a book, if there's a book I really want that someone else has, let's have a look. So, say for example, Her Last Secret. That is currently on loan, but I would like to read it, let's say. So I'm going to reserve it. So see the button here, the reserve button here at the bottom. After confirming this reservation, you will have three loans available. Um, that's fine because you're allowed five all at once. Um, reserving counts as a loan because it is automatically um, added to your uh, My Loans uh, once it becomes available. So it's been reserved for you and will be available on the 2nd of July. I would doubt that it will be the 2nd of July. I think it will be sooner. Uh, it's just there's so many people um, you, across the whole country using this uh, Borrow Box app at the moment that it's struggling to catch up um, and to, to get new copies of the book in, but Libraries Ireland are working on that to get more copies because obviously the libraries are physically closed. So this is um, a really great resource for people to use remotely. So I'm just gonna press okay and go back to my loans. And there it is. So you can see what I currently have out on loan. You can see what I have reserved and at the bottom are books I have listened to before. And that is pretty much it. There's not ugh, that much more to it. Uh, I hope that has covered everything. Um, if not, just leave a comment or send a direct message. And I hope you enjoy using BorrowBox and stay safe and happy reading.